Hi everyone, today I would like to demonstrate the experiment using ICI sedimentation. The aim of the experiment is to determine the average particle size of the given sample of CaCO3 powder by ICI sedimentation method both analytically and graphically. The apparatus required are the stop clock, filter paper of 5 numbers, funnel, sample collection dish, weight box, measuring scale, CaCO3 sample and a oven. The setup of this is made of a gla glass apparatus. It consists of two limbs, the left and the right. The top of the two limbs are provided with stop valves. Above the bottom of the left limb is provided with the opening for air blowing and at the bottom of the left limb is the open so that the sample can be collected. So before starting this experiment, we need to calculate the settling velocity ut in meter per second and the settling time in seconds. So these calculations are done prior to starting your experiment. And the next important thing is to take 5 filter papers, weigh them separately and keep it in their respective funnels. At the same time, you also need to take 5 grams of your CaCO3 powder sample and keep it for further experiments. Now, this experimental setup consists of glass tube which has two limbs. One is the left limb, the other one is the right side limb. The left limb of the apparatus is filled with water and stop cock is closed. So water is filled through the left limb up to certain level and the stop cock is closed. The right limb is then filled with water about 20 cm mark on the scale. You have a scale right next to your right limb and keep the marking and fill it with 20 cm of water. So the 5 grams of CaCO3 powder is added to the right limb and filled with water up to 20 cm mark. Once the water is filled, close the stop clock and the right limb stop clock, stop clock will be opened and the left limb stop clock will be closed. And we need to start the agitation using compressed air. Now the setup is ready for agitation by compressed air. Keep the agitation for 40 minutes, 40 seconds to 1 minute. And this is the time when you need to keep your stop clock ready. And as you stop the agitation, you should start your stop clock. Now we have the pre-calculated settling time of 60 uh, root 2, 60, 60 by root 2, 30, 30 by root 2 and 15 dpi, that's mu m. So the settling time has been pre-calculated for 60 as 64 seconds, 60 by root 2 as 128 seconds, 255 seconds for 30 dpi, 513 seconds for 30 by root 2 dpi and 10220 seconds for 15 dpi. At 64th second, you need to collect your first sample. And allow it to filter in your number one filter paper. Make sure all the residue is in your filter paper and give it time for it to 
filter now. And the next sample, without stopping your stop clock, next sample has to be taken at 128 seconds. And the third one at 255 seconds, fourth one at 513 seconds, and fifth one at 1020 seconds, and put it for filtration in all those five filter papers. Now after 102 seconds, all the five samples has been put in five uh, filter papers. Now collect all the filter papers carefully and keep it in the oven for drying. It takes approximately two and a half to three hours for the complete drying. Once the drying is done, you need to calculate the weight of the filter paper with the residue. Once the filter papers are weighed with your residue, then you need to calculate three graphs. The first graph is dpi by 5i, the second graph is 1 by dpi by 5i, and the last graph and the third one is 5i by dpi and 1 minus 5i by dpi. Once you plot these graphs, then you can calculate the average diameter of particle size using your analytical method and your cumulative method. So this is your ICI sedimentation.